Hi, I'm Sean Duggan, the co-author of the Creative Digital Darkroom, Photoshop Artistry, and Real World Digital Photography. You can also see my Photoshop for Photographers tutorial column in Layers Magazine. Okay, continuing on with the theme of fixing a blown out sky, we have this image here of a Buddhist temple in Hawaii. And uh, only a portion of the sky is blown out on this one, this area over here on the left hand side. The rest of the sky looks pretty good. It was obviously a overcast, cloudy day, uh, threatening rain. And uh, on this side, uh, the clouds are not as thick, and so it just tended to wash out there. But fortunately, I saw this when I was taking the pictures, and I realized that this was going to be a problem. So what I did is I went ahead and took my shots. This is actually a panorama of three separate images. I took my shots, and then I took uh, another picture of just the sky above that area of the temple. And you can see that here's the roof of the temple here, and here's the same tree line in the mountaintop. So I took a picture just to get good detail in those clouds there, knowing that I could use this technique I'm going to show you to blend it in. So what I'm going to do is make a little rough selection here of the clouds in this picture, just using my lasso tool. And I'm going to make sure I don't have any of the uh, trees selected. I'm going to copy that, just choose that edit copy, and I'm going to switch back over to my temple picture and I'm just going to paste that down. I'm going to use my move tool and just kind of arrange that to where the bottom of that layer, that new cloud layer, just comes down below the tops of the mountains. Just something like that. Now what I want to do is I want to fix this without making any really intricate masks. And I'm going to try to do that by using a blend mode. And the blend mode I'm going to try is up here in the layers palette. I'm going to open that menu where it says normal. And I'm going to choose darken. And right off the bat, you can see that Darken creates this nice little blend here between uh, the image of the temple and the new sky. Now, obviously, I do have a problem here on this side, but I'll fix that here in a second. Let's explain what the Darken Blend Mode does. It compares the values of the pixels on one layer with the corresponding values of the pixels immediately underneath them on the underlying layers, and it only displays the pixels that are darker. So what we have here is the, the fact that the mountain and the trees are actually darker than the clouds layer means that they get displayed. Uh, and then over here, of course, the new cloud layer is darker than what is underneath it, so it gets displayed there. So to fix that, I'm just going to add a layer mask. I'll come down here to the bottom of my layers palette and click on that layer mask icon. And I'll get my brush tool. And black is my foreground color, which is what I need it to be for this. Uh, my opacity is set to 100%. That's probably okay. I'm going to use a big brush, soft edge brush, and I'm just going to brush away at the edge where I can see that hard edge there. And that just brushes this away. Here's, so here's the layer mask, and that just hides that hard edge of that layer. So that works out pretty good there. And um, for a lot of images, you can just get by with that uh, darkened blend mode, and it'll work pretty good. But let's take a look at this a little bit closer. I'm going to zoom up and scroll over to the side and check out the trees. Trees are always the, the problem in some of these images because they have very delicate uh, structures uh, of light and dark tones. And you can see if I turn this on and off that it's not totally perfect there on the trees. So that being the case, let me try a different blend mode that is very similar to Darken. A little bit more heavy-handed, it's called Multiply. So you can see that with Multiply, the trees are looking much better. The only problem is, is that since Multiply always gives you a result that's darker than either of the two layers by themselves, we have this real obvious dark transition here. So that I'm going to fix by just zooming out a bit so I can see what I'm doing here. Clicking back on the layer mask and getting my brush tool and coming in and just sort of, again, very lightly, very carefully feathering that back. So now if I zoom in close and take a look at this, I don't have any obvious transitions because I've masked them out. If I turn off the background layer, you can see that the sky has this real soft, fuzzy edge here. And the darkened blend mode is taking care of the tricky areas of the blending of the trees. So both darken or excuse me, the multiply blend mode is taking care of that. Anyway, 
both the darken blend mode and the multiply blend mode can be very useful when you need to try to add in uh, sky detail from one picture back into your main picture and they work particularly well when you have uh, images with overcast skies like this where there is dark detail such as trees extending up uh, into the sky. So give that a try and I hope you find that useful. Sign up for my free newsletter, Creative Digital Darkroom News, for Photoshop and digital darkroom tips and techniques, musings on photography and the creative process, and updates on workshops, seminars, and one-on-one -on -one training.